to a wee bit, but Steve's like, she can't work this joke, can't you? I know, we're lucky ones, aren't we? See my nephew's brother? He's got a cousin in Greece, right? See, your age? You mean you get to the army area? What was that, eh? Right, have a one, yeah. I mean, you practice just in case. Come on. I've got armies just in case. You never know in a minute, do you? I reckon all that, George Galloway. Did he start all that? I think so. He's Scottish too. Shocking. You just done a piss yet? This <laughs> mother's a snap. Owen! Wake up. Gone me the goats. Eh? Gone me the goats. Who are the bridge? Far? Cause? Who's two alright? He's one. I'm not getting you my goat. Anyway, it's no mine. He's your goat. No. You're getting my goat. He's it then. No, I mean you're getting my goat. Beat it. My own Mars. Move! There you go. Casper likes breed soaked in milk with wheat bix and, and, and Mr. Pickles likes pickles. <laughs> See ya, Casper. Come here, go. Valley Bridge. Come here. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be having that straight after your pie. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, hey, you promised me you'd try a new leaf, you said. I'm not putting up with any more of this. Just give me it. Why don't you go back to your bed? Just give me the bottle, Archie. That's it. You're grounded. I'm looking you in. You are not giving me a showing up. This is supposed to be a fresh start. New house, new rent. A lot of people go their entire life and never get a live-in position. We're the lucky ones here. Take a day off. Take a rest. You two! Where'd you get any goats? Half a couple of dobbers. <laughs> <laughs> I will give it to me. Go oh, then, take them then. Goats are a lot of shite anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. This place is getting worse. Ned's stealing goats. Said they were taking them up the high flats. Or I'll not get them past the concierge. <laughs> the girls will give them away. They belong to the council, no Heidi. What are we going to tell Tashi? Just tell them the truth. You're a seven foot tad, you can't be trusted to take a goat for a walk on a lead. <laughs> right, listen up. Blah, 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 this place is manky, you all live like pigs. Point one, there's never anything written on this clipboard. <laughs> Point two, I will always go easy on Michelle because I harbour a fantasy that I will one day bed her. Hear you. But hear you me or hear you Tashi? Mm, no sure. Is that a cushion up your jumper? Wages docked for cheek, my lady. Point three. The goat fiasco. Now, in the council's bumper book of bullshit, page 42, paragraph 12, it clearly states that goats and miners shouldn't mingle. Huh? Goats and miners hate each other. I thought that was parrots. Huh? 
I seen this thing one time. A miner took a parrot down a hole. The parrot was all coughing and spluttering. Do you want to have seen the look at you, the guy? Please do, young Woody. What was kind of like... I honestly think I could have watched that for the rest of my life. Yeah. It was like a parrot lava lamp. Is that what miners use? No, no, no. That's a Davy lamp. Who's Davy? That's the man who owns the lamp. Is that no Aladdin? <laughs> Why do you rub that big trippy genie out of a vase or something? Here. What would you do with three wishes, man? I'd go to JJB Sports, right? I'd get right up to the guy. I'd point at the wall with all the trainers on it. And I'd take my vase out. I'd get ready to... Mr. Henderson, permission to piss off to Tina's for a wee hour. Aye. Aye, piss off one, piss off all. Go and piss off the lotties. Come on then, have some tea. You do. Good sake, come here. Give me a hand there, Mr. Henderson. Aye. Where the hell's the rest of them? I'll throw away Tina's. Take the piss, I think, because you're not here. Aye. Carry on right enough, eh? Aye. Hospitals, consultants. Gets you thinking, eh? Think about it. You can't play the class clown all your days. You can't go through life looking up lasses' skirts and scraping putty off the windies. That wasn't me. And who's to say the lasses don't like it? Julie Glancy loves it. And don't take my word for it. That's Mr. Boyce, the pencil dropping pervert. Right, that's enough. Look, I'm here to advise you, son. You're three weeks away from leaving this school. I mean, where do you see your career taking you? And don't say football player. Well, quite good at art. Painter and decorator? No, oh, but still life. You know, fruit and that. Fruit market? <laughs> It's an early start, but good pay. You're not listening, you plum. You people are all the same. I want to go to the moon, you want to send me to McDonald's. Well, let's split the difference. Children's entertainer. Stick it up. You're... You take me for some kind of soft touch. Get it up, you. School's out, you dick. <laughs> Gino, I don't care if it is your pet. If it tanks another eclair, I'm going to flush it. Health and safety would have us shut down before we'd even opened, right? Yeah, Michelle, I meant to tell you, I was up the tune on Friday night, that new club, Mental Dome. What? Aye, well, it's called Metrophone or something, but we call it Mental Dome. Anyway, I'm standing at the bar waiting to get served, and this lesbian boot serving all the guys before me, cackling like a cowty. So I clocked the manager, and I was like, here you, I want a word for you. Then I stuck the slag in for wearing trainers behind the bar. What do you mean? We can't wear trainers behind the bar. It's against health and safety. Gino, you dick! Get that scooped up and put it back in the fridge. I'll touch a curry this week. Thanks. So, what happened? Well, he took me to his back office, 
and I pumped an apology at him. I was lying upside down looking at invoices for cider. Four kegs a week they go through. That's students for you. Here, I'm going to show you this. What do you think? It's nice, natural. Do you think it's too David Dickinson? It just needs a wee bit blinding to me. Aye, that's what my taste said. He runs a new fake bake up at the cross. It's usually ten or a session, but I get it for a fiver. Sexual favours? Nah. I caught him topping up Manny's machines with Bisto. I reckon to grass him up. He uses Bisto at his day. Aye. He told me the whole story. He used to run a shop in Prague, right, for years next to a brothel. He was cutting the dye with all sorts. Bovril, gravy granules. He had to shut up shop, but... Why? Because of the smell. All the dugs were hanging about outside the shop, <laughs> licking the hookers when they came out. Then the punters were licking the hookers. Everybody ended up with the rabies and the clap. It was I Am Legend or something. Can you wait to meet him? Mm. I think he's Mafia. Do you know he's got Sky Telly in his reception? You've got Sky Telly in here? Aye. But do you see any mongrels hanging about my front door? You want a footy? You're a dick. This is above and beyond this pish. Clearing drains at nine in the morning, there'll be all sorts of blades and everything. What are you talking about? Rainwater, leaves, lollies. No, no, no. This place is two minutes for the barrel in. See, back in the day, this place has been crawling with the gangs. The torch and the toy, the bison and the cumby. Reg Mackay with his cock out. <laughs> Who's Reg Mackay? Ugh. Chain smoking baldy bastard. Caught me one that sells the hussies. No, but he's another yin. One of does a crystal maze. Are you just listing baldy arseholes now? <laughs> I think I've run out. Gil Brenner. Okay, that, madam. Aye. Very sharp, madam. And you just at your bed, too. Where's the off licence? Nearest one's beside the homeless unit, but the queue will be at the door at this time. Any drink in the lorry? I am Rue. Was that a look that says, don't get wide with me, you fat dick, I'm an alky on the edge, just point me in the direction of the off sales? <laughs> Seem nice enough. Aye. Salt of the earth. <laughs> Henderson wasn't too bad on us. You're just saying that because he can't reach you, he's slappy. Good to get Mr Pickles back, but... Aye, you've got their favourite tea. You boys milk them yet? No way, Michelle. That's your job. Aye, we don't date tadgers. Teats? Tadgers, teats. We're not touching them. These are cashmere goats, you know. Cashmere is very expensive. So are fags, but I'm not be pulling them off for one. <laughs> We just wash them and give them a good brush. Their coats are worth more than you two earn in a fortnight. Cash? Mia, you're not going to pull me off, are you? <laughs> You'll be all right, you. Huh? The ginger gene. Too many folk take redheads for clowns. Here's Charlie! Oh, my name is Charlie Chuckles and I'm Scotland's favourite clown. My feet are big, my nose is red, I never wear a frown. I can make balloons, your ass, my jokes are near the knuckle. So take a deep breath, open wide and let me hear you chuckle! <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas, everybody. Gigs off, mate. <laughs> There's luck in my boys. Oh! You bastard, you meant that. It's not my fault. It's full of shit. A good briefcase. Well, if it's full, get up to Newt Bank and get it emptied. Well, you need to come ways and sign it half. Aye, because that's what I'm here for, eh? Sign it half shite. <laughs> well, hurry up. He 
want to have seen the roaster we met, Mr. Henderson? Oh, aye. Strung out Ouija, Sir Helen. Scary to look at. This is just after the school run, Tay. Well, it's not unusual to see drunks in here, is it? No, no, this was an uber alky Yeltsin in a nightgown. Duly noted. <laughs> How are you getting on that new house? He says you must be a mason. Christened that bed yet, eh? Your wife can hit it hammer and tongs. You think you know up to it? Ben Choi called you. <laughs> Aye. So when do we get to meet the lovely Mrs. Henderson? Hey, I've got to drop my phone down here. Get on a foot plate! Get on a foot plate! She's after a drink! I'll get a drink. Myself to after shave there on the house. Yeah, mate. Yep. Do you do special jobs? <laughs> Sorry? I'm saying do you do things a wee bit different? Well, that would depend. What about goats? Do you do goats? Goatees? Yes, I'll do a goatee. Only you seem to be without one. No, no, no. I've got two. Look, what is it you want? Can you heat this up for Casper? <laughs> like I say, I merely reproached her for openly drinking alcohol in the park. She laughed in my face and called me a tweedy prick. Nothing wrong with her eyes. Then, I produced ID and verbally began to caution her. To wit, she called me a baldy bastard. She seems like a very good laugh. A woman on the edge. Delusional. She threatened to have her husband sack me. She's half her nut. A man wants to have a word with her. A man? Who'd put up with that? She seemed very insistent that her man would, as she said, put his toe up my hole. So just a passing way, you know, a fluke. This is likely we'll not see her again. Oh, she claimed she was living here. Look, can we drop this? She's a drunk. She's looking for help. She's not going to find it here if she's spotted again. Polis. If she's spotted again, shower. She'll be minging a shite. Oof. Imagine that in the scud. Aye. Mere folds in a regano napkin. <laughs> right, that's enough. The police will deal with it that's that. She's to be pitied, no mocked. I put up with it for years. Which one? Pitied or mocked? In your case, pitied. Single guy, can't get his hole, can't he sleep, can't he sleep for no getting his hole. What if it was mocked? Single guy, can't get his hole, can't he sleep, can't he sleep for no getting his hole. Aye, it's different for you. Oh, aye. Aye, you're young. That can make all the difference. Happy 75th, blah, blah, 20 quid. Result. Watch and learn, son. Post loader, news. Check. Too dodgy. Bingo. Oh, it's a boy. 
I'll take that weight to be in seat. And if the gaffer gets suspicious, blame the deaf new start. Oh, I forgot. You are the deaf new start. What? <laughs> you fly. Fly, man. Aye, that's me. Well done. What? Belt. Black belt. Aye, and I'm no deaf either. Before you ask, we don't stock Burberry, and no, our Pringles do not come in cardboard tubes. You should they judge a book by its cover, mate. Many Neds walk through your door with a bag of this. Candy floss? Candy floss. Eh, aye, aye, right enough. Now look, this gear's hot. I need to shift it. Have you tried the carnival? It's cashmere. It's the best of gear to all the golfers wear it. Now you want to talk turkey? Come over here. You see that? That is my panic button. For 25 years I've had this shoppy and never had a call to use it. There's been days when I've prayed for a junkie, a tramp, or even a streaker, but nothing. And now you come in with your contraband cashmere pish. It's risible. Risibility alone, however, does not merit the pressing of the button. I had to bring them in. I'll chatter in it there. Chittering goats. Ha! I think that'll do. It's a messy business, Archie. Vagrants in their slippers. Yeah, well, it's been dealt with, so just leave it. I mean, I know it's not exactly a Willy the Wanker scenario, but that's how these things start. Willy the Wanker was a creep that was cutting about the park, terrorising vulnerable women. We're hardly at that stage yet, are we? Farewell and adieu to your fair Farewell and adieu. Right, Archie. Get on the phone. Eh? Oh, eh, uh, right. Oh dear, no, the battery's knackered. Maybe she'll, uh, maybe she'll go away in a minute. <laughs> she's not exactly Helen of Troy, Archie. She's a clear and present danger. Aye, but to who? <laughs> oh! <laughs> we need to ditch this and get him back to the park. I bet he's phoned the police. I'm getting mad at you. I'm an ex or spotty to Ah, they've gave you a rash. I was warned about that ages ago. Eh? Aye, some course don't clap donkeys or goats. You're asleep. Can't you wake me up for important stuff, but... A day? Lunch? Game time? Yeah. Oh, shit. All right, lads. You look a wee bit lost. Eh, no, not really. We just had the boys here at the vets. Council no have vans for transport. Aye, but he can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're on your way back to the park then? Well, they look as if they were needing. So we brought them up the lane, keep it off the streets, no? They look freezing. Aye, the vet said they had ticks. So we gave them a shave. We've got blankets for them up the road, it's a shame, innit? Come on. <clears throat> right, I'm going to have to search you. Now, before I do, have you got anything on you that you shouldn't have? Aye, my brother's boxer shorts. <laughs> right, you, what's in the bag? This bag? Yes. This poly bag? Aye. This poly bag here? Mm-hmm. It's a... Uh, candy floss. Is it now? Mmm. Go over it. Mmm. Is it? Mm. No, I've changed my mind. No, no. Why then? Oh, 
Well, Mr Armstrong, we now appear to be in possession of all the facts. Your test results came late yesterday, but as you were coming today anyway, I decided to leave it. Now, let me start by saying that this condition has been detected at a very early stage. We have a great chance of fighting it. That said, there are a great many challenges ahead, and what we are concentrating on here is slowing the progression. Now, I can't tell you at this point how aggressive this will be. Again, age, health, luck even, are all factors. But I'd like to start you on some medication and suggest you come back to me in three weeks. Now, I have some literature here which you should take home and read. I'm sorry, Mr Armstrong, but I have to go. Manas will speak to you in a moment. So how much did you get for the goat fur? Hee haw. Spewed up in the lane, ditched it, end up with this rash. Leaving two baldy, traumatised goats in there that kind of get a kip. Should start a support group. What was that? Nothing. 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 What happened to you? Goat rash. What happened to him? Alky gash. <laughs> Is she still floating about? Last seen sailing a bottle in the direction of his head. I think she's about to drop anchor again. I'm locked out. What's the matter with you lot? Have you got nothing to begin on me? Archie, I need your keys. Listen, I don't even know who you are, dear. Um, so on your way and uh, don't annoy us because this is uh, council property. I warned you, Archie. <laughs> Alice! Come on. I was bursting up, so I just couldn't have it in. Nice meeting you, Mrs. Henderson. Fur? Aye. What fur? Goat fur. No, I don't mean what fur. I mean what fur. You mean why? How? Why did they eat the fur? I don't know. And day turns tonight. So you said deep fur? Aye. What fur? Goat fur. No, I don't mean what fur. I mean what fur. Goat fur. Right, you said bard. <laughs> 